Hi there, it's Richard from OneSite Solutions. Welcome to this training video on dashboards. Um, so what is a dashboard? Uh, dashboards are uh, very useful actually. They, they, um, they're initially set up by the system integrator, but then the appearance can be modified by uh, the users uh, from a web page um, without the need to use any kind of PX editor or anything. They can just uh, add their own points uh, and save it. Um, and the other useful thing is that they get once they're saved, they kind of marry up to the user. So if uh, if user A logs on, changes his dashboard, um, and puts some points on there, changes the colors and everything else of the lines or bar charts, whatever they're using, um, uh, and then saves it, and then user B can then log on and change his, and uh, they won't affect user A's dashboard. They will save them to the user. So it's very useful. So let's have a look what we have to do. Um, so the first thing you have to do is, uh, uh, if you're not if you're not sure about anything, a rule of thumb is, uh, if you're not sure how to add something or where to find something, go and see if there's a palette for it. So I'm going to put in a D for dashboard, and you can see I've got two items in my dashboard palette, a dashboard service. So we know that needs to get added to our, our list of services here. Um, so I'm just going to drag that onto my up my sidebar onto services. No need to rename that. Um, and you can just see there, there's not a lot going on, just a status and, and an enabled area. Okay, so I've added the dashboard service. So now I need to, uh, I can add, go ahead and add a dashboard. So if I go to my home page, I'm just going to create a new view here. I'm going to call it a dash and change my media to HXPX media. Um, and now I'm just going to drag a, uh, a dashboard pane onto the canvas. So this dashboard pane is uh, what makes uh, the uh, save gives you the saveable function. So once your pane's there, you can just drag a point onto uh, this area here. You don't actually drop it onto the pane. You have to drag it onto the widget tree, onto this content box underneath the pane. So if, if I go to my ground floor fan green at number one, space temperature. So I don't release it here. I drop it on here. Now I need to choose how I, using the wizard, how do I want this represented? So I need to open up a new uh, palette here, which is called web chart. So I've got two items, a chart and a gauge. I'm going to be using the chart. So you can see there, it's got my space temperature on there. You can see on the... Um, in the widget tree, it's got that order attached to that widget. So if I save that, oh, sorry, not save it, come out of edit mode. And I can now add another point to this uh, uh, chart. So I'm going to go to my fan create number two space temperature, drop that on there as well. So now I've got uh, two items on there. You can just about see them if I zoom in. Okay, so I've done a restart a minute ago. Um, and then I can save that. So I've got the save button at the top. So I should have, um, when I view this, uh, so if I go away from this page, if I go to my ground floor graphic, and then if I click on my, this is a hidden button here to my home. You can see there, I've still got those two points on it. So if I zoom in a bit again, so it's not just that uh, fan core unit number one space temperature. I've got both of them there. If I want to uh, release it, I can uh, click on this, and that will go back to um, just having the first sensor on it. So whatever whatever point is attached to that widget, which is my fan core unit number one. So um, I can uh, add other points here. You know, and and change it, change the color. I can click on here, change the color. So anything I do, um, and once I hit save, well, next time I go back and look at it again. So if I was to log off and log back on again, it would be it would should now be red. That's how I left it. Okay. Um, so that's how the save function works. So if I was to add a, a point to my canvas now and use the wizard to choose chart without using the dashboard pane and just resize it 
when I come out of edit mode, I can still uh, add other points to this. Oh, so go to my space temperature number two. And I could go and uh, change the colors or change them to bar charts. Okay, so I can still do all that, but when I go back, uh, when I move away from this area, because there's no, there's nowhere to save it. When I go back to it again, it will go back to how um, it was created. So it's just got that one um, binding on it. I could add another binding to this. So I could uh, uh, go go to the property of my uh, widget, add another binding, WB view binding, and I could copy uh, this ord and then paste it into uh, the second binding and just change the name. And I could go and uh, go into edit now. And uh, so I can't go into edit now and, and change the view of these. You know, I can't change it into a bar graph and change the colors like I can when I'm uh, in, when I'm not in ed edit mode. And you can see that. So I've added two bindings. So that's uh, that's how it will always go back to now when I when I uh, even if I make changes to this, it will always go back to this view with the two lines to, uh, to the blue and the green color. So you can see making them savable has, has uh, got quite a um, lot more going for it. Uh, so I could have um, done exactly the same with my gauges. Let me just show you a gauge. Oh, before I show you a gauge, actually, I'll do that last. Otherwise, I have to repeat doing this. I can. Uh, there's an export feature now as well. So if I go into my settings, there's a little icon at the top here, which is an export wizard. I can click on there and change. Uh, change. I can either uh, keep the name or change the name, uh, and I can change it from a chart or a CSV file. So I could have put it out in a CSV format. If I was, leave it to chart um, and say OK, what will happen now is it will create a, a new view under my file system uh, called chart. Uh, so it's created a new folder called charts, and there's my um, my chart that I've I've saved. So um, if I just go away again to my home page, if I, if I double click on this now, it will just open up that chart. And it would be up to date as well. So it would be the latest values. Not, not, so it's not a, a, like a screen capture. It's actually going to have live values on there. So that's exporting it. So you can export it as a chart or a CSV. So they're quite useful, you know, when you've set up a chart and you want to uh, refer to it next week or whenever and you can always just go and double click on it here and it will it save you having to set it up every time so if i go back to what i was going to show you um my home page so if i delete this and uh, add a gauge now so uh, a, a, a gauge is the same you can either add it to a dashboard pane or uh, just add it um without the save feature so I'm not going to bother showing you that. Uh, so if I just add it as a, as a space temperature here um, and add a circular gauge. So gauges are quite useful to put on a little dashboard. They look quite nice. The colors will come through. So when, a, when the temperature goes above 25 on this one, um, it should uh, go into an alarm and it should go red. There we go. So now. Um, it's gone the most. So you can see the colors come through, all the web workbench colors come through, the oranges and the reds and the grays and the everything else. Okay, so um, that's the end of this video. Uh, if your um, dashboards are not working properly, it might be worth you going and checking that you have the right jar files installed on your um, JSE. So do that, you go into Software Manager, And there's three uh, jar files under dashboard. 
uh, can't find the plugin. Uh, so there's an RT, which is your runtime, the UX, which is your HTML5 uh, module, and also your workbench module. Uh, so just make sure you've got those installed uh, if you're not if you're having trouble with your workbench. Oh, sorry, with your dashboards not working. Um, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like at the bottom, and I'll see you on the next one.